Hello everybody and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars review. Today we'll be reviewing set 75288. This is the LEGO Star Wars Imperial AT-AT from summer of 2021. It contained 1,267 pieces and retailed for, 1, for $160. It comes with two snow troopers, two AT-AT drivers, General Veers, and Luke Skywalker. First look, the minifigures here with the snow trooper. Both these guys are equipped with medium blasters. Got that newer style helmet mold. It's pretty nice right there. Then uh, nice torso and leg printing. And it's a nice back print. Both of them have different heads. So as you can see, I don't know really why Lego's doing that. I personally like the angry clone face, but it, I guess uh, not a lot of people did, so they changed it up. Oh well. Then we got two AT-AT drivers here. The nice TIE Fighter, TIE Fighter pilot helmet mold, but in gray. Some Imperial logos in the front there and some black markings. Both of them have different faces, as I mentioned. We got a nice torso printing with a tubing and both of them have small blasters. And then, of course, we got the one and only General Veers, right over here. This guy has binoculars, so he can, you can know, look far distances away. It's a nice back printing, torso printing, uh, nice new, that's a nice newer uh, helmet mold they've been starting to use. With that goggles printed on the top there. Some nice face printing with that comm link to communicate with other people. Other people piloting other AT-ATs. Um, the Assault on Hoth, which is what the set is based off of, obviously. And then we've got this version of Luke Skywalker with his trusty lightsaber and thermal detonator to blow up the AT-AT. We've got some nice torso printing and leg printing. To make to make it look like what he does in episode five when he's piloting the snow speeders to take down these ATACs. He got some nice back printing. Got another face with the goggles down. Alright, and the goggles up, so not covering his eyes. Different expression. Now the helmet has some the helmet has some nice imperial logos and red markings on it. And then we'll look at the side builds here, starting with the Ewa Blaster. Here we got a nice e blaster, snow trooper, you can just grab it right there. And there you have it. It's a pretty nice looking build. Small small little side build to the set. It's pretty nice. That's always nice to get little side builds in these big sets. And then of course we got the snow speeder. And it got the little blaster on the bottom, like the actual snow speeders do in the movies. Got the fins in the front. Um and white to make it look like Hoth. But of course, we've got the big baby, the one and only, the Lego Star Wars at, -AT. And this, this thing has big, giant, posable feet. Just pose it however you want. I prefer to pose it more or less like this. That's just me. You got opening side paneling on the side so you can get to the interior there. And then you might notice a clip up at the top. And you can stick the E Web Blaster right there. Right up there and stick two snow troopers in there as well, holding their blasters just like so. There we go, one. And there we've got two. Then of course you can also turn this thing around and you can open this back part by opening those two hatches. And take this snow speeder on in there. Stick him right in there like so. You see it out in the middle there. You get a good view of that. 
So let's zoom in there. Oh, I can't. Look at it. You can start to see it right there. The fins and stuff. Close all these up. And then let's we'll turn on the side so you can get a better view when we put the people in the cockpit. You can put some mini figures in there. It looks it's pretty dark in there. Can't really see little shadows. We'll just take this side panel off to make it a little easier to see. Oh yeah, also bring bring those shooters. But yeah, you can just stick two drivers in here. If I can get them in there. There we go. Stick one guy there. Stick the other guy right there. And then yes, you can put general veers behind both of them. Like he's in the movie to replicate that scene. And, and his, yeah, his knocker is kind of getting in the way, but he does fit in there. There we go. And we'll put that side panel back on. don't necessarily have to take that side paneling off. I just did that so you can see in there a little bit better. Now you might have noticed that spring-loaded missile chute. It does have two spring-loaded missiles in the front of the at, -AT. Right up there. One on either side of it. Kind of see it in there. See from up front. And this head, it does not fall out very easy. It's very sturdy, it's connected by a Technic. It's connected by a bunch of Technic in the center there. And it makes it so it recenters it every time. And I shut that spring loaded missile again. Really nice and sturdy build. But we got one more feature up on in here. We've got a little lever. And what does that lever do, you might ask? Well, if we look at our lever, and then we look back down here, Got a little tow cable coming off, like a tow cable that Luke Skywalker shot in the movie. It's just connected by a string on up there. Put this right over here. Take Luke Skywalker. Gotta take his lightsaber away, but you can connect Luke Skywalker to that. Come up here, start spinning that, and it goes on up. And then, he might be missing his lightsaber. But somehow I still able to slash a little cut in the bottom there and throw his thermal detonator up in there. So I don't know how he juggles all three of these things, but he does. And just put the thermal detonator on up there. It does actually fit in there. No, whatever. <laughs> There's a little gap for that to fit in there, but I'm not gonna bother right now. So yeah. So yeah, I guess that I guess the AT-AT -AT Luke Skywalker blew up was the same one that contained General Veers in it. And I guess that makes sense. We don't see him in any of the other movies, do we? Let's take that off. And it's, yeah, it's just a really nicely rounded set. With that tow cable there. The interior has some has three extra seatings on the other side, but. I guess that's because there's a battle pack coming out January 1st, and that just happens to contain three snow troopers in it and one scout trooper. So I guess we'll have to put that scout trooper on the speeder and then three others in the that in the other seats on the other side of it. But it's just really nicely rounded. Very big set. By far the biggest set I own. And it really just it just makes everything else in my collection just look super small. And yeah, it's just it's a really nice. It's really nice and really big. I like it a lot. If you don't have it, and I'm not gonna tell you to spend 160 bucks on this, but if you don't have it, you should get it. Really nice set. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.